As we've seen so far, we can version individual clips and compound clips by duplicating them here in the browser. And there's one last versioning technique here in the event browser I want to show you. It's using auditions. Rather than group our various clips and compound versions into keyword groups, we can also make them auditions. Here's how it works. Here I have three versions of this clip, each with a different effect so that you can see which is which. I'll highlight all three together. Right-click and choose Make Audition. A new audition clip is created right here in the event browser. You can tell by the audition icon that it's got here. All I have to do now is right click, go to audition and open audition, or just hit the Y key. Here I can see each of my three versions. I pick one to be the active version, click done, and that is the version that clip acts on. If I open this clip into its own timeline, all I have access to is the currently active audition version. But if I drop it into a compound clip or a project timeline, it's still a full audition clip and I can access all of my versions. When I settle on one for my final product, right click, go to audition and choose finalize audition and it's locked in. It's no longer an audition clip, it's just a regular clip. But the original in the event browser is still an audition clip that I can always go back to again and again. Now that we've moved more firmly into the timeline, let's look at how we version our edits there.